Gig workers, pay on delivery apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash fell 15%. Meanwhile, DoorDash says data shows Seattle pay rules have caused unprecedented drop in business. What is going on with DoorDash and these people that are dr- delivering food, Uber Eats, what's causing them to make less money? Well, guess what? Consumers, DoorDash, what is DoorDash? You pay the price that you would get at the restaurant, and then there is a delivery charge on top of it and a service fee. So when you order something on DoorDash, it is, a you know, it, it could be, I think we've all done that. It's like two burgers. It would be like 20 bucks or something um, all in with a tip and everything at a restaurant. Suddenly you see it's like 30 bucks when DoorDash delivers it. So what has happened is when municipalities regulate and say, oh, 1099 workers, no, 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 no. They need to be employees and they need to make this much an hour. And oh, no, 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 no. This has to be in here. You're interfering with with businesses right to freely conduct themselves. Instead, you're putting regulations on the business. And guess what happened, Pat? Hmm. The food was even more expensive. So you know what people did? What's that? Maybe I won't order from DoorDash. It just seems like it's more expensive than it should be. Maybe we'll just go order it in advance on the app, and then we'll go pick it up right there at the restaurant. That is what's happening. Usage of DoorDash in cities where the cities have tried to regulate workers and other things have caused stuff ordered from DoorDash to be more expensive. And so the consumer is voting for their wallet and saying, you know what? That's more expensive. And then the headline doesn't come out. Our regulations made food more expensive and people didn't order it. The regulations comes out as drivers are earning less. Why are they earning less? Because the government interfered with it. And guess what? It hurt the business and they were unable to make as much. I mean, that, that's the direct correlation, right? So when this lady in California says she wants to raise minimum wage to $50. <laughs> Exhibit A. Do you know what that would do to the businesses and surrounding areas and who that would impact the most? It would be absolutely insane. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.